Hello, guys and gals. I'm here to talk to you about uh, you know different things. And today, uh, as always in gamer land, there's always news going on. It's always small, you know, big or whatever. But this one is, um, you know, I consider decently big. As you probably know, uh, Microsoft's uh, planning on releasing a new console, which. Uh, uh, actually two new. One was supposed to be the Anaconda and the other one was supposed to be the Lockhart. Well, I think the Lockhart was supposed to be the um, less powerful model. Uh, to put it as short as I can, uh, the news is that Microsoft is deciding not to do that right now. And uh, there's a few good reasons for it. I do not have the technical specs, but um, an article on Game Informer cited that you know uh, programmer developers don't always know what to assume you have um, in terms of even even the hardware. Uh, so I mean, I've, it's a problem I've heard with PC gaming that they. You know, there's so many kinds of PCs out there. Some people are using older PCs. Some people have the, you know, they try to get the newest, uh, strongest equipment. So you just don't know what everyone has. So you just kind of assume with the baseline. And um, it is cited in the article that, which is an interesting piece. I always, the neat thing is, I always learned something about video gaming, but that. Uh, when the 360 came out, the developers didn't know if, because um, you know, there were versions, I guess, with or without a hard drive, that developers didn't know whether people had a hard drive or not, so they just built games assuming that they didn't have one. And uh, it was interesting to, to hear because you, you really don't think about these things. You really don't think about, you know, how hard it is to be on that other side, and, and you just take it for granted. Uh, but um, I mean I would like to point out some things that we don't know uh, obviously you know like I said the assumption um, the article pointed out that if uh, if you were certain you the lesser model would start out small you know like the less visuals and it would scale up to the bigger one the uh, stronger anaconda model so uh, this would leave you know things to be desired uh, so I mean I can't technically explain how how it is in words, but you can imagine the kind of problems they have uh, when you, when developers don't exactly know what to do, and the kind of strategy it leaves Microsoft at you know that like there's so many things that could fall. That, that go between the cracks and, and and it just messes up the strategy and it's just easier to it's the best way I can explain it off the top of my head is like when you start a business the best thing to really do is to start one and just concentrate on one not to start two or three because it just makes things more stressful and you can't devote all your time to one and you know in this case, uh, this is a problem for developers because they don't know what to expect, and uh, you really don't know where to where to start your, your games at. So it's a lot easier just to focus on one, and that's what Microsoft has decided to do. Uh, this is for another discussion one day. But at, at first, I really didn't like Phil Spencer, but I think Phil Spencer. Uh, I think he's he's trying. He's he's listening to people. I'd like to do a report into it. I would love to meet the man one day. Um, but I but I think he really generally. I, it, it looks like he really generally cares about um, gamers. I mean, when the Xbox One was first announced, it almost just seemed like he was distant. And he, he didn't exactly know where to start. I mean, it was more about, you know, what your system could do for you at home than 
it being dedicated to games. Now he's admitting that he's listened to gamers and it's being dedicated to games. So this might ultimately be a decision that he decided, you know, hey, we're going to be, you know, concentrating on games and this is going to be on uh, just purely games and I think this would be a good idea. That's a good sign. That means he cares and a person like that is going to go far. A uh, person like that is going to develop a very devoted fan, uh, customer, quote unquote, loyalty base because they know he cares. And uh, I, th I remember seeing him in an uh, uh, interview with IGN and you know, he's a gamer himself. So it's not like it's just, you know, about the money. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he understands how good games can be. And, you know, now he has an insider perspective of what goes on. You know maybe what to do and what not to do. That's fine, you know. But uh, getting off the subject a little, I just wanted to make the point that you know I think he's just been listening to gamers. Uh, the last and final point that I want to say is that the argument that people had made for the original Xbox One, and that was that was that. Um, Um, I'm sorry, I was just thinking how to, how to word, uh, but that was, when the original Xbox One came out, uh, a lot of people on YouTube, and me, I was solely thinking about this too, that when the Xbox 360 came out, it had a number, so you could say, you know, your parents, grandparents could say, I would like an Xbox 360, uh, you know, pretty simple enough. But when the Xbox One came out, I mean, there was this kind of thing like, you know, if your parents, grandparents, or anyone from your family or whatever went to the game game store, could be Walmart, could be anywhere, sold the system, and said, yeah, I'd like an Xbox, um, an Xbox One, an original Xbox, an Xbox One. Like the the first Xbox, and it kind of sounds a little confusing because you're thinking maybe Xbox One is like the first Xbox, and then those people might be like, "Oh, we don't sell it," or you know, they might actually hand your grandparents or parents, depending on where they went, an actual original Xbox, which would have did you no good. Um, at least with the letters at the end, for example, the One X, the Xbox X, uh, One S, and One X. I mean, you have that thing there, the letter that defines the difference, so they would probably know what, uh, at least the people selling would know what exactly you were looking for. Uh, Microsoft hasn't really done a good job with. You know, giving names of their consoles. So, as weird as the Scarlet sounds right now, at least it's going to be easier to remember. It, I mean, I hate to say it, but it, it would probably be better than the names they've, you know, given them before. But at least if they name it, whatever they're going to name, <laughs> Xbox One Scarlet or something, at least it will be different from the other ones. But I mean, the point is that it's confusing to people who don't know. Not everybody's a gamer, I gotta remember. Not everyone follows up on that stuff. You know, people of older generations just don't care. You know, there are people who are of many generations that play games. You don't find too many of them, but, but they do. But for the most part, people who <laughs> grew up with not having to play video games, having to go outside, don't really pay attention to that thing. So it's a big deal when, you know, it, it, it's it, it's kind of a big deal because the consumers get confused and, you know, that might hit your sales a little bit. But, uh, you know, um, 
So I just wanted to bring that up and, and say that uh, I guess they're planning on shelving the idea for now. But um, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are, your thoughts and comments, as I always do. Um, remember to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe on the video. And have a nice day.